running the Nano from different power supplies. I've read a thread on Rev where people are talking about how if you run it from a battery it won't go as fast, you won't get as much power as if you're running it from the mains. So I didn't think that was necessarily correct. I thought I would uh, try it out and see. Not got any um, bobbin on and I've taken out all my dampening materials so it makes a little bit of a noise as we'll be able to see. The faster it goes the higher the pitch of the noise. So this is it running at full speed using the mains 9 volt adapter that came with it. I'm going to try and remember this pitch and compare it to when it's plugged into the battery and USB. First what I'm going to do is plug in a little inline switch. This makes absolutely no difference. There's still 9 volts going into it. It just makes it a little bit easier for me to turn it on and off while keeping the speed setting. So here we go. That sounds exactly the same as before, which is good because that's what should happen. Now I'm going to plug it into the USB. I've got one of these 9 volt step up cables that came with the Nano. First I will plug it into the USB out on my computer. Okay. And again, to me that sounds like it's running at the same speed. If I'm at all curious I can snip out bits of the audio from this video later and compare the waveforms, but I think it's certainly close enough. And now I'll plug it into this battery. The battery is a little bit big for the Nano, but because uh, I bought it for the mini spinner, which needs a nice chunky 12 volt battery. But it's got USB out, so it will work completely fine. And again, that sounds the same to me. The concern raised in the Ravelry group was that you get X amount of power out of a USB port. So this says it's 5 volts and 2 amps, which means you get 10 watts out of it. If we're stepping this up to 9 volts, then we're not going to get 2 amps at 9 volts. It doesn't work like that. We will actually get slightly over 1 amp. So if the Nano did require 2 amps, it wouldn't be running properly, it wouldn't be able to draw its full amount of current. As it is, it clearly requires considerably less than that. So the uh, the battery is fine with the step-up converter. For a more power-hungry device, it would run more efficiently on the mains, but for the Nano, it's fine. And Maurice confirmed, I think on the website and on Facebook, that provided your USB 5 volt output is at least 2 amps, the Nano will run as efficiently as it would plugged into the wall.